All right, guys, in this video, I have a 2011 Kia Forte with a 2.4, and customer complaint is that the AC is not working. So what we're going to do is verify the customer's complaint, and then we're going to go through some quick checks to see what is going on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start the car. We're going to check the temperature coming out of the, the vents with the AC on. And right off the bat, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like a hissing sound coming out when I turn on the AC. So, my AC is on and my temperature isn't really dropping at all. So what we're going to do now is go and check to see if our clutch is operating and if our clutch is operating well then we'll go and we'll check our pressures after that. Alright a very quick and easy way to check to see if your clutch is operating is by going by the relay and what we're going to do is use this little tool. This is a, basically a relay circuit tester and this one is from ADT. ATD. Sorry, and what we're going to do is just come over here, remove the relay, bring the relay over, find the appropriate adapter, come back over, put this guy in, hook up your ground, hook up your power. And everything lights up. That's good. Now you're going to come over and you're going to take and plug your connector in. And as you can see, you have power on one side, ground on the other. So that's working properly. Now, if we take and we actually over to pin 87. You guys can hear it. and I can see it move so it's not a clutch issue. So static pressures are pretty equal onto the gauges. So now we're gonna start it up and we're gonna come see what our pressures need on to our gauges. So this is what the vehicle started, as you can see. My low side is roughly about 29 and my high side is roughly about 100. It, high side should roughly be about 150, 200 and my low side should be about 35. So in order to lo locate this fault, I retrofitted a AC adapter, um, AC high pressure adapter to my uh, regular air hose. Now, we ordered a tank, as you can see it over there, but haven't been able to install the gauges onto it yet, so this is just another way for you guys to maybe uh, find an AC leak onto your vehicle without needing nitrogen systems. So the valve, one of these valves cost about like, I'd say about 45 bucks. Take add a, uh, a hose fitting onto it and you guys are good to go. Make sure it's well sealed because if not, it's gonna leak. So, that's it.
So I'll give you guys a visual of what's going on. Well, I'll try to anyway. Whoa. Uh, see if we can get up there. So I don't know if you guys see my TXV, but you can see the bubbles that are coming out of it. So this one has a leak onto the TXV system and that's why the AC isn't working. So now I gotta take and make a estimate, bring it to the parts. Now to replace this TXV on this vehicle, you do it from the top, not the bottom. But you have to take and uh, remove those three bolts that you see on screen. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and if you did please like, subscribe and comment.